How to import your Google Slides into WeVideo in order to make a movie with narration, music, and transitions. Now why would we want to do that? It is really handy for making title pages more intricate than the ones you can make in WeVideo. You can also easily narrate your slides or add the small video view in the corner with low level music on the audio line and you get to have it as a movie and not a slideshow. The yellow and the bright pink insets will also be at the end of the video. I wanted to make sure that you had a chance to look at them both at the beginning and the end. Hello little mountain lions. Today I am going to show you how to get your Google Slides and put them on Wii Video. So I have split my screen. As you can see, I have Wii Video here and I have my slideshow. This is a book I've been um, working on um, or reading. Or it's going to soon be a read aloud. And so I want to get my slides over to Wii Video. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very easy. So first thing I would do is I would choose the slide. At this point, um, we have to do it one at a time. And there is a there is an add on um, tap an add on to Google Chrome that you can get, but right now we have to do it by one by one. So I am in my Google Slides and I've chosen the slide I want to import, and so I have to make this file a JPEG. So I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to say download, go to the download, and you have to save it either as a JPEG or a PNG. I usually just do mine as a JPEG. It's going to put it down at the corner right here of this side. I'm going to go to um, Wii Video now, and I'm going to say import. It opens up this import media. You can get it from your drive. You can get it from social media sites. What I like to do is I like to click and drag it into there. So here's the JPEG that's down here at the bottom corner, and I'm going to drop my file inside. And there it is. It goes into my media. and I'm ready to drag it down to my video line. I can now make it larger, okay, so that I can do some narration. Okay, so it's there. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna grab this ending slide. So I, what do we do? We select the slide that we'd like to have imported. We go to File down to the download button and a pop-up menu comes up and we go over to JPEG or the PNG image. It puts it at the bottom of our screen right here. Now we can't drag it over right now because we don't have the import yet. You press import on Wii Video and you drag the new slide up to there, browse to select. Woohoo! You wait for the blue line, and then you can drag that to your video line. Listen up to find out how to get your slide from your downloads. So I was thinking, what happens if your downloads don't show on the bottom of your screen? I'm going to show you one more way that we can do that. You still go up to Import, and instead of saying drag and drop media here, you say Browse to select. And then it will go to your downloads. And it would, mine show, it either says recent, earlier this month. And so it'd be the most, uh, the most recent one that you've done. You select it. Yep, that's it. And you say open. and then it downloads that way too. Two ways to download.
From here, you can do all sorts of things. You can add music. You can narrate. I'm going to go to narration. And then you can start recording and make it a movie instead of a slideshow. Other books in this series are in the Dora Phantasmagory series are shown below. I'm going to press stop. I probably wouldn't keep that, but this is just practice. It saves it and it's going to put it on my voice line or my audio line. And there it is. And then I can move that narration wherever I want it on my um, timeline. I can add transitions and make it a movie. So that is how you, what? Make your Google Slides into a Wii video movie where you can add music and narration. Hope this will help you using it for school.